it figures to be a wet one, but we'll have baseball for you on MLB Network nonetheless. It's game one of the American League Championship Series between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Yankees. Game one of the American League Championship Series is next. James Paxton will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. Dan, any thoughts? Boy, there's lots to like about this lefty James Paxton. Big arm from the left side. He reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit. The only thing, he throws about four or five miles harder than Pettit. Paxton occasionally, 97 to 98 miles an hour. Good. Drawing closer to the start of game one, let's join public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2020 New York Yankees. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, I think the focus has to be on the man hitting third. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. Guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. James Paxton gets the ball for game one of the league championship series here at home. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Boy, there's lots to like about this lefty James Paxton. Big arm from the left side. He reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit. The only thing, he throws about four or five miles harder than Pettit. Paxton occasionally, 97 to 98 miles an hour. Good hard overhand curveball. His changeup is getting better the more he uses it. This is one of the game's premier left-handed strikeout pitchers. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely. That in third, the center fielder, Adam Turner. First delivery to him on the way. In there, 0 and 1. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. On, Total guy. agreement, man. In particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. Yeah, he's right here, one time. Just getting started here in the Bronx. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, you got it. No one better. Let's go, kid. Swing and a miss got him reaching. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. Nothing in the White Sox half of the first. The Yankees with their first set of swings. Coming up next on MLB Network. Stepping into the box, Adam Turner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball in play, the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Behind 0 and 2 now. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. A lot of pitches hey, away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. 
The one two. Popped up. Gregorius over to his right. Two down. And with two away, let's check out our playoff bracket as we give you a look at how these two teams advanced out of the divisional round to meet. Center fielder. Add up. Here comes the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Hey, come on now. Let's go, kid. One time, right here. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. Boy, he just looks locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone cold takes right there that put himself in a great yeah, hitter's on, count. Yeah, Three and 0 to him now. Right here. here it comes, the 3 0. Is laid off, but in there for strike one. Four pitches, all takes. He's showing a lot of patience here. And I like that from a guy like him, Matty. He can do a lot of damage on the base pass with his legs. So there's no reason for him to get overly aggressive if he's Wait not getting anything to handle. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Here's Didi Gregorius. He was oh, retired via the ground ball last that's time up. Stuff. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. Oh, yeah. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Oh, and a fine play there as he ranges back to put this one away. Not an easy play by any means. And there are. Spot here, bases loaded, nobody out, and that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Lifted into center field, moving under the Turner. One down, and they will not try anything here. So the bases remain loaded with one away. Ready for another shot now. Adam Turner. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. LeMayhew gloves it. Oh, not in time, and that'll go as a bunt single. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective. Now, you look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Pitch misses low. The throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Some managers treat the postseason as a time to be aggressive, and that's exactly the case here. Hey, they had the speed in. burner here on the go. move, and it worked nicely for him. Just got to drive him in now. And a dive, but he's back in there. Three balls and a strike now to smoke. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. On, Turner dog, leads off go. second with one gone in the inning. And it's full now, three and two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And here's the three two from him. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Striding in once again. Elo Jimenez. He was sat down on strikes in his last half bat. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. 
No runs, seven hits, and no errors yeah, so far no for the day. White Sox. Let's go. To two and two now. You're gonna need you right here. Come on, Yankee. The two two is swung on and missed strike three. Yeah, this game was decided in the eighth. That was a huge offensive fireworks coming in the eighth inning. And when the other guys put up a big inning like that against you late in the game, it's really tough to make any kind of a comeback. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. It's the second game of this ALCS between the Chicago White Sox and the New York Yankees. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head to head with a top finesse arm. Next. Luis Severino is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Luis Severino's really turned himself into an all around pitcher. Came out of the bullpen early in his career for the Yankees. Big fastball, 96 to 100 miles an hour. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better. And one of the things he does better than anybody in the league right now maintains his velocity. He'll be getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2020 New York Yankees. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matty, you walk into the... So digging in now, Adam Turner. Turner he'll get to take years. his first cuts here. Adam. Turner. See it driving. Let's go. Right here. First pitch of the at bat. And a ball 1 0. Oh. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, hey, Maddie, we got a good like one can. behind here the dish go. today in Ed Drummond. Well liked by all people, pitchers, batters, managers. All you want hey, as boy. a player is the ability to talk to someone. And that's what Ed does. He gives you that chance. Zero, you hit a nail right on the head. He has a real long fuse. He's not afraid to let a hitter or a pitcher, I'm not going to say complain about a particular pitch, but he's not the guy that's going to get mad and throw somebody and give him the boot just because a guy doesn't like a pitch or a pitcher thinks that a pitch is a strike and they call it a ball. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Just getting started here in the Bronx. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Down and batting third, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Come on, Tony, let's go. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Jimenez is in pursuit. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on M.
Ready for another chance? Adam Turner. And here's an at bat you Adam. don't want to miss. A pop is something to see. So we'll have to be dealt with carefully here. Hey, need you right here, kid. Drive something. First pitch on its way. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. He's coming to you. Chased a low ball there, and he's on, quickly down in the count 0 and 2. Now on 0 and 2, I don't think we're going to see any more hittable fastballs. If we see one at all, it'll probably be extended out of the zone, or at least that'll be the intent. Hey, let her fly, let her fly. Started to chase there. Attaboy. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. Hey, come on, big dog. You pitch. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Bases are empty here with two gone and striding into the plate. It'll be Miguel Andujar. Miguel Andujar. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. And he goes down and gets this one as it's lifted high into the air out to medium deep center. Turner is under it and he makes the catch for out number two. Digging in now, Adam Turner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Turner. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Hey, see, hey, drive it. Here we go. Wait for your pitch up there. And a strike to even the count. One and one. The one one home. One and two now. Hey, grip it and rip it, kid. Grip it and rip it. Two and two. Pitch, drive it right here. He's set, and the 2 2 pitch. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Digging in now for the Yankees. DJ LeMayhew. No hits to this point. DJ LeMayhew. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Moving under it, Turner, two down. Your attention, please. Striding forward now for the Sox, Adam Turner, as he'll bat with the bases full and two men out. Hey, get a good one up there, huh? He's set. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch. So just. Ready now, Aaron Hicks. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Aaron. Comes set with the 0-1. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it. Turner, two down. Digging in. Adam Turner, a hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. 
Strike one to start the at bat. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. With this one almost Grab in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D. Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts on, jumping Dad. out like this, yeah, it's there. clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased one today. Nice really stayed staunch on uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, yeah, and they pitch, did huh? damage with it. Check swing grounder to the right side. Fielded cleanly, and he'll just make the tag himself. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victory last time. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Turner is after it. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. I think it's just another win but it's awfully hard to win in this game especially on the road but they find a way to get it done and they should be very happy with this performance. And there's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason and that's exactly what this man did. He's our. our